Uh, good day, everyone. My name is Karen Mazzucchere. I'm the author and publisher of the Distinction Bound Student Textbooks. Let me show you. There they are. Yes. Now, uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about business cycles. Okay. So business cycles are successive periods of fluctuations in economic activity. Now, let me explain my definition in more depth. Now, if you look at my definition, I said business cycles are successive. So we have the word successive. Uh, and, and this word being uh, to succeed, okay? Successive periods, say periods, or fluctuations, fluctuations in economic activity, okay? Now, let me explain each part of this definition, right? So, business cycles are successive. The word successive here means what comes after what. Uh, uh, as in, uh, for example, who succeeded Nelson Mandela as the president of South Africa? That would be Thabo Mbeki. So Thabo Mbeki succeeded Nelson Mandela. Then who succeeded Thabo Mbeki? Jacob Zuma. And who's like that? So that's what I mean by successive. So periods are succeeding one another, just as much as uh, a president will succeed the previous president. Okay. Then uh, periods, okay, of fluctuations the word fluctuate means up and down okay it's fluctuations in what economic activity and we use uh, gdp to measure or let me say real gdp to measure uh, economic activity so that's what business cycles are so we have uh, let's say a recovery phase which is recovery phase which is succeeded by a prosperity that prosperity will not be there forever it will be succeeded no matter how long it goes but it will at some point be succeeded by a recession that recession will not last forever there will be a, a, a depression and that depression will be succeeded by a recovery and that recovery by a prosperity that prosperity so periods are succeeding one another a recession being succeeded by a depression, a depression being succeeded by a recovery, a recovery being succeeded by a prosperity, a prosperity being succeeded by a recession. So business cycles are successive periods of fluctuations. So as they succeed one another, you know, we have two phases uh, which are an upswing. So that is the recovery and the prosperity. Then we have two phases that are a downswing. That is the depression at the recession and the depression so we have up down up so that's where the word fluctuations comes into play so because the word means up and down so business cycles are successive periods of fluctuations so what is really fluctuating is economic activity so in other words uh real gdp is going up and down so and and you know what gdp is as the total market value of all final goods and services produced within the borders of a country over a specific period of time so that goes up and down like that okay so basically that's what uh, business cycles are so you should be able to draw a typical business cycle uh by typical there is what we call a real business cycle which happens in in real life and you'll see that an upswing is not smooth it has it's like this because it's impossible for it to just be smooth like that. So we have uh, periods succeeding one another like that. And uh, yes, I explained. So we have the four phases, recovery, I mentioned them, okay? Then you have to have on your vertical axis, you have to have your economic activity or real GDP, your horizontal axis, you have to have your time. So over time, real GDP goes up and down. Okay. When it goes up, we call it an expansion. When it goes down, we call it a, a contraction. And that expansion is two phases uh, or two periods, recovery, prosperity. The, 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 the downward one also has two. Then uh, we have a trend line, which shows the general direction in which the economy is heading. We have an amplitude, which measures the intensity of a business cycle. We have a length, which is measured from peak to peak or from trough to trough. Then we have, uh, what else am I leaving out? Yeah, I guess that's about it. Yeah, length. Okay, yes, we have turning points. That's what I'm leaving out. Uh, on top of the, t the turning point right there at the end of a recovery or the beginning of a recession, not recovery, uh, prosperity, and the beginning of a recession, that is called uh, a peak. Then another turning point at the bottom here, which is at the end of a depression and the beginning of a recovery, it is called a trough. Okay, so that's it. 
um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes, this I'm putting on TikTok, but uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel where you see these videos in more depth. And I even show some notes and whatnot and activities here. I'm just, you know, uh, uh, talking and explaining. Thank you so much. God bless.